Okay, so let's practice finding some percents on double number lines. Bob scored 80% on his health test. There were 30 questions on the test. How many questions did Bob answer incorrectly? So here's the double number line set up from 0 to 100 in um, increments of tens. So 30 questions goes above the 100 because that's all of the questions on the test. So now from there I want to find what 10% is. So 30 divided by 10 is 3. So I can count up by threes. And if I want to find 80%, I go to 80%. That answer is 24. So that means there were 24. But remember, that's the um, um, number that he answered correctly. And we need the number incorrectly. So I need to take the 30 that are on the test, subtract the 24 that were answered correctly, and find that 6 were incorrectly answered. And that's our final answer. Okay, number two here. There are 280 children at Great Oaks Elementary School. 40% of the students are boys. How many boys are there? So there's 280 children all together. So I'm going to put the 280 over my 100%. That's all the boys, girl, uh, all the children, boys and girls. Okay, and there's all my increments of 10. And so I'm looking for the 40%. So from the 280, I have to find my 10%. So 280 divided by 10 is 28. And now I want to jump and find the 40%. So I could keep counting up by 28s, but that might get a little difficult. But I can look to see that there's a relationship here. 10 times 4 equals 40. So if I multiply 28 by 4, I get 112. And so 112 is the 40%. So there's 112 boys. Kelly sold 125 boxes of Girl Scout cookies. 20% of the cookies she sold were tagalongs, and 60% were thin mints. How many boxes sold were tagalongs? So here I have two questions, but on the same number line. So I'm going to set it up. Okay, and all of the boxes, there was 125 boxes. So, of course, first I want to find the 10%. So 125 divided by 10. Remember, I could just move that decimal point, whoops, move that decimal point over to find 10% is 12.5. So 20% would be 25. So that's how many tagalongs were sold. Now we want to know how many were thin mints, and that would be 60%. So I have to go over to here. So I'm going to use my other strategy. 10 times 6 is 60. So 12.5 times 6 will tell me the 60%. So that would be 75 for thin mints. Okay, now if you want to practice, we can try one where there is a percentage that is not a multiple of 5 or 10. So let's try 7% of 80. So we start with our double number line. Whoops, I'm going to have to make that my 80 and extend it. So the whole number, the of, is my 80. That goes above the 100%. I'm going to find my 10%, which is 8. And now I need 7%. So it's going to be a number less than 8. So I'm going to help myself by finding 1% first. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to divide 10 by 10. And that gives me the 1 here. So now I have to do the same thing here. I have to divide 8 by 10. And that gives me 8 tenths. So I know 1% is 8 tenths. So to get to 7%, 1% is 8 tenths to get to 7%. So I multiplied 1 times 7 to get 7%. So 8 times 7, or 8 tenths times 7, I should say, is 5.6. So 7% of 80 equals 5.6. Okay, you can make up some problems or try the ones online and show them to me tomorrow.